Good morning and welcome to another Versus video. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between the Ride 13 from Saucony and the New Balance 880 from New Balance. Um, two of the top shoes this year, in my opinion. Ooh. The weather city, it's warm, but it's really windy and it's a little bit rainy. I don't wanna be here in Unse, I'm gonna drive out. So I'm heading over to the car right now and hopefully <laughs> this won't be a total bust because it might be really, really windy out there, but it's so beautiful. So I wanna show you guys this awesome place. Steady. Can you see me here? Okay, top tip. Always bring a wind jacket, right? It's 15 meters per second out here and it's rainy and my gimbal does not work in the rain. My camera does though. So I'll bring the camera on some runs uh, first. Look at this! Okay, first, first I'll do a lap in the 880. It's the one that I have on right now. It feels so good. It's been so long since I had it on. Ah, oh, it's so nice. And then I'm gonna do a lap in the Ride 13, and then afterwards I'll probably find somewhere else to, yeah to do the recap comparison thing you know um, well I'm gonna just go for a run it's oh it's super windy yeah uh, see you in a bit Okay, first, first lap done. Now, changing into new shoes. Ooh. The wind is getting stronger and stronger. This is ha, pretty epic. <laughs> oh, this is what I live for. This is when running's fun. It's when nature, like, challenges you so next round same round maybe in reverse just to try it out is uh, with the Saucony ride 13 yeah let's go
reason why I do this fit and feel thing uh, in videos in general is actually because those are the two most important things. Your comfort, what you like to have on your feet, what you like to run with, is very essential. And also the movement pattern you want. So that means fit, feel, maybe a little bit of stability because of the movement pattern. Some people want less stability, some people want more stability. Uh, first, a little bit of coffee. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Breathability in the front is the best thing here compared to the 880. Uh, but uh, it's very, very soft and plush here, so it slips a lot more than the 880. Uh, it's a little bit more narrow in the toe box. Overall, a good fit, but I've gone up half a size in this one, and it feels the exact same size as the other one, but a tiny bit narrower in the forefoot, in my opinion. So. If you compare it to the 880, which has a heavier, like bulkier upper, which doesn't breathe as well, it has this really extremely nice padding amount around the heel collar. It feels just more secure, it feels better, it feels more roomy and nice in the toe box. So even though the breathability is better in the ride, I think the 880 does a better job fit-wise. So what I would choose is the 880 if I was going purely on fit. So now it's the feel category. I'm going fast here because it's it's not, if you want to go deep, go into my reviews. Uh, I'll link them somewhere, probably downstairs. When you compare these two shoes, then they're really awesome shoes. I, there's this one thing that it's really, really important to say. It's They're really, really good shoes, both of them. And they're the top maybe two shoes that I have tried this year. There's a little bit of difference between these two. And that's mostly the ride, how it feels to run in them. And let's start with the ride again. This one feels a little bit more firm, but it has like this oh, like bounce back in it. It's not like soft. And especially in the heel, it's not that soft compared to the 880. When you want this, when you have this on, it feels a little bit lighter, it feels a little bit faster, it feels a little bit yeah, more agile, it's just like a little bit more of a fun feeling. It's, yeah, I, I really enjoy running in this shoe. And then I also do it in the 880, but the 880 has like a little bit of a softer heel, a softer foam, and it's the Fresh Foam X, it's really good, it just doesn't bounce back the same way like the, the TPU Power Run um, midsole that Saucony Ride has. And it actually does that in the beginning, but after like a 50 kilometer ish, that's like, yeah, I don't know, 30, 35 miles, then it suddenly starts being a little bit less springy. And it's super nice to run in still, but it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little bit, ah, yeah, a little more dead. It feels still really, really nice, but it feels soft, it feels higher, it doesn't feel like you're in in contact with the ground in the same way and that's why I enjoy the Ride 13 a little bit better. This one, still good, still amazing, just a little bit better at the Ride 13. Grip wise, I ran in some like a little bit of muddy terrain today, up and down. They both actually did a pretty good job. I don't know if anybody stood out in the positive or negative way. I, I think they're pretty similar grip-wise. Yeah, uh, let's just keep it at that. Stability, extremely similar as well. The 880, the last 880, the version 9, was super stable. Now it's a little bit more of um. Yeah, it's very similar now. So what I hear from customers, and that's mostly what I'm gonna talk about in the stability segment, is that the 880, some people like that it holds around here and like the heel cap, but it, they don't like that it's a little bit perforated here with lasers, so it's a little bit softer on that side. And I know that version 11 The Ride 13 has a really stable platform, but the upper is super soft and the heel is a little bit lower. So people tend to think that it doesn't grip as well. It does not grip as well in my opinion, but it also feels very low. So it doesn't feel like it's stable. And then the softer upper also feels a little bit more wonky and not as controlling. So 
if I was going to choose, I think maybe the 880 is a little bit more stable. But that depends on what you want, right? Yeah. In conclusion, both these shoes are phenomenal. One won the fit, one won the feel, and I think the fit is so close that for me the winner is the Saucony Ride 13. It's probably the best shoe of the year. Um, but I want to try and compare it to a little bit of different shoes as well to see if I can make up my mind about that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm heading straight back to the dinner. It's my day off, but that's also the day that I make, try to make a little bit more of a fancier feast. So the most important thing today is that I got to run in 15 meters per second wind, which is so much fun. Like the, for me, what really, really brings out the adrenaline, the endorphins, the everything that I like about running is when nature does something spectacular and it starts like wrestling with me or gives me a surprise or something like that. That's the best experiences that I have. And today was one of those days. It's probably one of the best runs I've had in a long time. And it was just like two, three kilometer loops and I was filming a lot and it didn't take away from it being phenomenal. So try, if it's a bad weather day, just go out, try and run, keep on running. It's just so much fun when nature gives you a little bit of a, a prick, a little bit of a, like a shove. It's so nice. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you like these kind of running shoe related videos, then please consider subscribing. Um, apart from that, have a really, oh, really? Have a really nice day and have a great run. Bye.